Hi, welcome to another Game 2.10 tutorial. My name is Eddie, and this time I'm going to show you how to create uh, this uh, denim fabric uh, and an and embroidery uh, text. And the first thing we want to do, we're going to File, New, and we're going to use the default value 1920 by 1080 pixels. And then go to the foreground and change the foreground to this color 3370. AC 337 AC 70 AC then click on the foreground and drag the color to the canvas to fill after that go to filter noise and select RGB noise and here uh, we're going to make the red value to 0.4 the green to 0 0.7 and the blue 0 0.6 and click OK then go to filters again and select blur Gaussian blur and here we're going to make the value 0 0.8 and click OK then we're going to add a new layer on top and this layer we're going to name it wrinkles and line and then go to your pattern dialog and look for the wrinkle paper number one just click on it and drag it to the canvas and then look f and select scan line number one that pattern and drag it to the canvas two and then go to the blend mode of the layer and change the blend mode to overlay and there you have it you have a nice denim texture and what we're going to do next, we're going to uh, click right or right click on the layer, the top layer, and select merge down so we can have only one layer. And then we're going to change the color of the foreground again. And this time we're going to use, uh, let's do uh, DB, okay, 9E29. It's a nice gel, yellow color. And then uh, select a, a text tool. And we're going to use for this tutorial Mardian Demo. It's included in the tutorial folder. And it's a free uh, fund. So we're going to use that fund for, for the purpose of this. Uh, and then we're going to uh, make the size of this fund. 400 pixel and come down here and make the adjust line spacing 20 or 20.0 and then uh, just write your text whatever you want to write uh, I'm going to write GIMP try to make the uh, the first letter capital and then the other one uh, smaller uh, and write whatever you want as long as it's in the context of the texture uh, you know, patch what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just separate just a little bit just like that and then after that after you write it go and select the alignment tool and click on it on your text and go here where it says align center to target and click once and align uh, middle to, of target click it again and just center the text okay and then what we're going to do we're going to right click on the text layer and select layer to image size and then what we're going to do we're going to reduce the opacity of the layer to zero all the way to zero and we're going to duplicate this layer okay and then uh, select the original layer and we're going to go to uh, layer and we're going to use layer effect layer effect and the first thing we're going to do we're going to select inner shadow and here in inner shadow we're going to uh, make it 55 leave the color as is and the blend mode the opacity 55 the angles stay the same 120 the distance we're going to leave it the same 
and the size we're going to make it 10 pixel okay and just click OK and then we're going to layers again layer effect and this time select uh, inner glow and here before you do anything like I explained in my previous tutorial you have to right click on the color picker otherwise if you left click you're going to uh, receive an error and the filter is going to disappear so right click and select from the default black white select black and then change uh, the blend mode to multiply and the opacity we will make it 35 and the size 15 and just click OK All right, and then we're going to this time select layer and layer effect. We're going to pick up the bevel and boss, and here we're going to make the style first auto bevel, make it 65 for the depth. The size is going to be let's make it 12. Okay, we're going to make the soften 2 okay for the for this for the altitude make it uh, make it 25 all right uh, the surface contour make it Gaussian like I have it here and the gloss contour make a ring and then change the highlight mode to soft light And then uh, make the, sh uh, the the opacity 60. The highlight opacity 60. The shadow opacity li little 47. And then click on use texture and click click on browse. And when this window, the uh, layer uh, or pattern window comes up. Just select the embroidery large, close, you can close it, and just click OK after that. All right, and then we're going to uh, go to layer again, layer effect, and we're going to select. Uh, Select the pattern overlay. And here in the pattern overlay, click on browse. And we're going to select the same uh, pattern or the same texture, embroidery large. And then we're going to make uh, the blend mode is going to be grain merge. Okay. And then with the leave everything as it is, and just click OK. OK, and then go again to layer layer effect, and choose color overlay. And this color, the all you have to do is right click and choose foreground color, and it's gonna select the foreground color right here and click OK and we have a nice color but we haven't finished yet we're gonna give a more more a little bit more texture to it a more effect to it and after that all you have to do is uh, select the duplicate and here the duplicate make the duplicate uh, a 100 percent opacity again and then we're going to change the blend mode to overlay all right that's looking better and now what we're going to do is we're going to layer layer effect and we're going to select again the bevel and boss and here we're going to change this a little for the style we're going to select this time uh, pillow and boss and 
we're going to leave the depth at 65. The depth size, we're going to make it 21. The soften is going to be 7. Leave the surface contours Gaussian or Gaussian. And the angle is going to stay the same. And increase the altitude to 35. The gloss contour, we're going to leave it the same. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make the highlight a little bit higher, 65, the light opacity. Okay. And uncheck where it says use texture. Now we're not going to use it at because you already did. And just click OK. And here you go. That's that's a nice uh, embroidery text attached to a, a denim texture. Now, if you want to change the color, if you want if you want another color, all you have to do is select the color layer here, game color layer or the text color layer, and go to colors, hue and saturation, and make sure your saturation is all the way to 100. And all you have to do is, is move whatever color you want. If you want, you know, something like pink or, you know, or purple. And you can select the color you want here and change the color to a green, something like that. Okay? And that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for following. And I'll see you next time for another uh, entertaining, simple Good tutorial on Game 2.10.